What up, everybody? Either though his scenes have been few, ever since being introduced, RSJ has been one of the most mysterious characters in the Power Universe. But unlike Noma, who was a complete enigma, RSJ's story was intriguing because of the fact he gave us bits and pieces of his backstory throughout the season and potentially linking RSJ to James St. Patrick. We were first introduced to RSJ as he was speaking at an event called Elpis. It is a gathering of the world's most influential people. Brayden told Tariq that RSJ was one of the richest men in the world. But he didn't start out that way. RSJ later told Tariq that when his father died, they were so poor that the only thing he left behind was good examples. So the big question that everybody has is, how did RSJ get from point A to point B? Tariq and Braden were watching RSJ speak as they waited on Lucas Weston, who planned to use Tariq as a pawn to manipulate RSJ and to put him money into the Weston Ponzi scheme. It was very important for Lucas to get RSJ because he was high profile with deep pockets and it could take the Weston Ponzi scheme to the next level. And after RSJ and Lucas discussed a meeting, Tariq got an opportunity to speak with RSJ. And at the end of their conversation, RSJ asked Tariq what his name was. And Tariq gave him his full name, Tariq St. Patrick. And by the time RSJ met with Lucas, he had either done his homework on Tariq or he already knew Tariq from his last name. Because after initially rejecting Lucas, RSJ then turned his attention to Tariq and told him that he heard his father left him a trust. To do something smart with it, he owed it to his father. And that's when RSJ went on to tell Tariq that when his father died, they were so poor, the only thing he left behind was good examples. But at this time, Lucas was furious that RSJ turned him down and blamed it on Tariq and forcing Tariq to get RSJ on board or he would terminate his internship. Keep it in mind that Kiki had already tried to warn Lucas that RSJ was going to see right through them and when he turned them down, it would turn off everyone else. And Tariq wanted to get his inheritance as soon as possible, then went on a mission to get RSJ to sign with Weston Holdings. And this is what ultimately cost Tariq his inheritance, because losing his internship wouldn't have cost Tariq his inheritance. It would have just prolonged him graduating and receiving the inheritance. But after putting his inheritance in a Ponzi scheme, Tariq lost everything. So he definitely didn't do what RSJ told him to do and do some smart with his inheritance. But instead, he made a rush decision that wasn't smart at all. But this might be best for Tariq. Now he can be his own man instead of living off ghost and start out on third base like Tommy likes to say. But as for RSJ, Tariq was able to win him over to Weston Holdings because RSJ was interested in the location of a specific piece of real estate, the Queen's Child Project. He wanted to tear down the building and turn it into a mall. Keeping in mind that the original location of the QCP was the bar that was owned by Ghost's father and his uncle Gabe. That also had an apartment building attached to it. So this was actually the location where Ghost grew up at. But Gabe wasn't even initially trying to sell the spot to Ghost. Either though he is willing to pay over the market value. Because he said he couldn't let Ghost buy the place and tear it down. But Ghost persuaded Gabe when he said he was going to dedicate the place to his daughter, Raina. So the big question is, why was RSJ interested in this particular piece of property? It could be nothing and that he's just working on adding to his real estate portfolio. The initial reason why he rejected Lucas in the first place. Or it could have a deeper meaning, possibly connecting RSJ to the St. Patrick's. Because RSJ, being one of the richest men in the world able to invest into anything, why was landing that one piece of property worth RSJ going against his better judgment and signing with Weston Holdings? RSJ has most likely already tried buying the property from Gabe, and Gabe probably turned him down the same way he initially did when Ghost first approached him. Speaking of Uncle Gabe, what is he up to now after selling the bar, and what does he think about the QCP being turned into a mall? And could we possibly see Gabe return for the final season of book two? Possibly giving us more information into RSJ's backstory. But RSJ himself revealed more about his backstory after signing with Western Holdings during a trip to Italy. 
He initially opened up to Tariq about his own personal life, saying that if people judged him for what he was doing when he was 19 years old, people wouldn't trust him today either. What was RSJ doing back in the day that would make people not trust him? And does he potentially have skeletons in the closet that he's trying to keep hidden? Because when Tariq went to talk to RSJ to let him know about the Ponzi scheme, RSJ told Tariq that he got to where he is today by doing things the right way. Is this the truth? Or is RSJ living a double life? Maybe RSJ is what Ghost wanted to be. A former gangster turned legit businessman. Because it didn't take much convincing for RSJ to blackmail Lucas to get the money back for himself, Tariq, and the Tejadas. Either though the Ponzi scheme was exposed before they got their money back. But also keep in mind that RSJ left the country on his private jet instead of clearing his name with the feds like Kiki. If he was a victim like everyone else, why wouldn't he talk to the feds if he didn't have anything to hide? I mean, personally, I completely understand this because I would have did the same thing because I don't speak to the law under any circumstances. But I also spent 10 years in the game, so that's kind of just embedded in me. So there are clues that there is potentially a side of RSJ that we haven't seen yet. Also, keep it in mind that he lost his temper real quick with Lucas when Lucas was doing circles about the Ponzi scheme. And just from that glimpse, this shows that RSJ could be a major problem. Because there is also an Easter egg that tells us that RSJ could potentially have two sides. Because also during their trip to Italy, RSJ told Tariq that he would be lying to him if he said that he wasn't familiar with his story and his father. Again, connecting RSJ to Ghost. Why does RSJ know Tariq's story and about his father? Even going on to say it seemed like Ghost had two sides. When Tariq replied, don't we all? So RSJ could have just done research on Tariq and that's how he knew his story. But I think there's a deeper reason because the fact he's also was interested in the QCP building location. Leaving me to ask the question, what is RSJ's connection to Ghost? Could he possibly be Unique Son Jerome or possibly Ghost Mystery Brother that's been hinted about by Courtney Kipp in interviews? Let me know what you think in the comments section. During this same conversation in Italy, RSJ also revealed that his father was a petty criminal who ran numbers. Everybody said that he was going to be just like his father, but he didn't let their expectations box him in. Also, keep it in mind that RSJ's father was killed when he was just a kid. Again, potentially connecting RSJ to either Breeze, who was killed by Ghost, and might be Jerome having to grow up without a father after his father was killed. Keep it in mind that Unique has a terrible reputation in the streets right now. And that's why we believe he's going to come back and reinvent himself as Breeze when he returns in Season 4. RSJ, on the other hand, couldn't reinvent himself as Unique's son, though. The best he would be able to do would be changing his name or just go by initials. And that might be why he's called RSJ, as an attempt to distance himself from his past and his father. This would be similar to how Joe Proctor took on the last name Proctor instead of his birth name Savello after his father was killed. We also know that Unique didn't have any kind of estate that he left behind for Jerome either. All he left behind was the money under his mattress and his jewelry collection. Which would have been plenty for Panessa and Jerome to live off, but Ronnie jacked all that to get work from Juliana leaving Rome and Panessa with nothing and forcing her to move back in with her mother. But at the same time, it doesn't seem like RSJ has any vengeance against Tariq either. So maybe Jerome didn't know who killed his father, or maybe he isn't Breeze's son, but Ghost's brother, and that's why RSJ has taken a liking to Tariq and also wanted the QCP location because that's also where he grew up at. Keeping in mind that Ghost's father was also killed when he was a child as well. RSJ potentially chose the life that Ghost didn't. Keeping in mind that Ghost had the opportunity to go to Cho with Angela, but he didn't want to leave Tommy behind. Maybe RSJ, Ghost's brother, took that scholarship to Cho or another school and decided to go another route to not be labeled like his father and going in a different path from Ghost. 
Keep it in mind that Ghost Father was also said to be a drunk. But like I mentioned earlier, RSJ said he was doing things at 19 that would make people not trust him now. So his story could be potentially similar to Tariq's where he went to school but he stayed in the game at the same time. Similar to the plan that Tasha had for Tariq in Power Season 6 when she decided to teach him the game and said Tariq will be better than Ghost ever was. This could potentially be the story of RSJ as well. Transferring to a private school to get his education, then going on to college and graduating. But the whole time, he could have been pushing weight and stacking money in order to jumpstart his business when he got out of school. And could Tariq's uncle, RSJ, potentially lay the blueprint for the rest of Tariq's life moving forward? Also keep it in mind that RSJ was big into real estate. Another mistake made by Ghost, Ghost never owned anything. The penthouse and the building location of Truth and all his other clubs were all leased. So will Tariq learn from RSJ and be better than Ghost ever was, like Tasha said, or will he get his water cut off on the final season of Book 2? Leave your thoughts, theories, and predictions in the comments.